Well, I don't think the Sooners will need to pull out the dead man trick like Bowling Green did, but the Vols certainly could lay out a number of teams this season. I just don't think Oklahoma will be one of them. Ray Crawford here with Pete Futek, and let's start with Pulling the, the Sooners. dead man trick off here, yeah. That's right. Let's start with the Sooners. What's going to be key for them? Baker Mayfield, do what you did against Akron. That air raid offense was fantastic, but that was Akron. That's not Tennessee. But Tennessee's secondary had a big problem last week. I think Mayfield, as long as he doesn't start throwing interceptions and keeps the pressure on, keeps bombing away, do what you did last week, spread the ball around with lots of different receivers, and also I think they're going to have a big game. Well, he was as advertised yep. uh, in his debut. What's the key for Tennessee? Be prepared for the shootout. You can't stop anybody. If you can't stop Matt Johnson or Bowling Green, you're not going to be able to stop what this thing's going to do. So Joshua Dobbs, the running game, all the parts have to be working. Just be prepared. This is going to be a track beat. You're going to give up lots of yards, lots of points. Just keep up the pace. The Vols with 35 sacks a year ago, so some pressure on Mayfield to make him uncomfortable if they can. He gets the ball out of his hands in the hurry, which is kind of why I like Oklahoma in this game. I think the Sooners really are going to step up and show why they're going to be the class of the Big 12 this year. Everyone's talking TCU and Baylor. I think this is the team to do it. But Tennessee, every year, they're about yeah. to turn that corner. This is the game you got to do. If you really want to be there, win this Put game. Put on the signal and make the about turn. Time. Uh, check out exactly. more coverage on Campus Insiders.